Happy Saturday night, everybody. Got a great video coming up, which I'm actually rendering right now on the Alienware Area 51M. So this is kind of like a rendering test. I don't know if you can hear it in the background, but I've got the fans cranked up to 100%. I've got it overclocked to five gigahertz. And uh, so what we're gonna be doing is taking a look and seeing how she's getting on rendering this video. So I've got 38 minutes until this video is rendered. And I'm hoping to get this video videoed edited, uploaded before this is even finished rendering the main video that I've got coming up which is going to be a great one for you. It's uh, another behind the scenes and there's some footage there of me filming the Area 51M review, the part three and uh, I've got a few more clips to do on that at the moment but for the meantime I've got a really good solid um, behind the scenes video coming up. There's loads crammed into there um, we've got loads of video tips and tricks, we've got uh, preparation stuff, we've got editing, um, we've got the shooting of the actual video itself. Um, we're actually, what we did was film the um, Alienware face um, with the Alien FX, you know, we can change the RGB colours. And so that's what we got up to in the video. But you'll see that in the next few hours after this one's hit. And uh, so that should be a good one, look out for that. But what I'm doing now is I'm rendering the video uh, the behind the scenes video it's nearly an hour long uh, there's lots crammed into there but it's important because what's in there is going to actually become part of the part two of that behind the scenes which will actually be a behind the scenes of the behind the scenes but you'll understand what i mean when you watch the next one coming up so i thought i'd share my experience here with me uh with the area 51 m rendering because um, obviously coming from my desktop with the water cooled system as um, i mentioned in the um, part one of my review, the unboxing and the part two, that's kind of what I'm comparing it to and it's really really, it, it's night and day in terms of performance so I'll give you the heads up on that now. Of course the actual part three of the review um, which will be coming up um, in the next few days is covering things like the fan noise, um, stuff like the um, setting up of the, the main screens and things like that as well as the RGB LED, we look at that in quite a lot of detail. So we've got all that coming up in part three uh, but right now, I've got this challenge where I want to be able to see if I can get this video out to you guys before this thing even finishes rendering the main one. So it's going to be interesting. So what we'll do, we'll flick over to the screen capture here. We've got the CPU and uh, this is the actual file we're rendering here. Uh, you can see a sneak peek down in this corner. And uh, I think what I'll do for you is we'll just pop open um, this one here. There we go and then we can so you see here this is where we got the old 38 minutes i think it said last time i looked 34 minutes when this started it actually said 19 hours um, <laughs> but you can see here the cpu usage um, it's sort of going up and down at the moment 4.5 4.3 um, i've just moved um, the file that i'm rendering onto the c drive because i noticed that the d drive which is actually really slow but I'll get into that in the part 3 review but the D drive um, was the one where I was rendering the file to and it said 100% so then I changed it to the C drive so that now I'm rendering it here onto the desktop which is on the C drive um, but yeah it looks like it's actually reading the files from the D drive anyway and don't forget this D drive is my um, it's like the platter based one terabyte drive so you know like a standard um, you know, motorised spool up things. So it's not very fast at all. But I'll get into that more in the part three review uh, for the Area 51M. So this is what we've got going on with the um, uh, with the CPU usage. We'll just flick over now to the uh, to the other monitor, and uh, you'll see here we've got the. This is my overclocking profile, and again I go into more detail in the part three Area 51M review. But just to give you a little brief. Um, sneak peek now. This is my profile I've got set up. We've got 4.8 gigahertz roughly we're running at the moment. You can see here the temperature, uh, 81 degrees, 67. Uh, now bear in mind your overclocking profile, which I'll show you here in the advanced view, you'll see 5.1 gigahertz. Now I've had this stable, I've been playing around with it. Um, I've adjusted some of these settings, I've cranked it down a bit so that I can try and um, maintain a little bit less heat. And of course, this is going to max out uh, as soon as this hits 100 degrees, it will basically step it back. Um, so it's important that you uh, don't, you know, cook it too much because it just won't get to the won't get to the hardcore speeds of five gig and above. 
uh, and I have had it running at 5 gigahertz. Um, and, uh, but I'm not sure how much at the moment. Um, let's just switch back to the. We'll switch back to the other monitor for you. And you'll see here, I'm rendering using the Mercury playback engine, GPU accelerated. So this is the CUDA based rendering engine. So this is taking full advantage of my 2070 RTX graphics card. Um, I think the Adobe suite in terms of the media encoder that we've got running here. Um, it definitely takes advantage of the GPU. I'm not sure how much of the CPU um, we're utilising of the i9. Um, of course, we are sitting here at 4.8, so you know it's doing it's doing something. But you know we're only using sort of 40%, so there's plenty more juice to to go on there. And uh, we'll just take you back to the uh, take you back to the other monitor. And so here again, you see the GPU I've got overclocked, um, and this is usage like 7%. So I, you know, I question how much of the, um, you know, the utilisation really of the hardware that the rendering of um, my video file there is actually uh, how much stress it's putting on the system. And you'll see here, this is my graphics card um, overclocking profile, and you can set these up as custom profiles. Um, I've just done the one for five gigahertz, uh, but this seems to run nice and stable as well. Um, and yeah, so everything looks looking good at the moment. I'm quite pleased. Uh, I've not really had any issues. Like I said in the part two review, there are a few bugs, but they're more sort of anomaly type things. Um, they're not necessarily uh, anything critical, but um, I'll get into that. Of course, we've got the Alien FX software that we'll be looking at um, for configuring uh, all the different bits and pieces. You can see here, I've got my Andology profile uh, that I've been uh, setting up. I'll give you a little quick sneak peek of that. Um, if we select here, you can see all the keys here, these are the colours that I've selected. Um, but we'll get into that more in the part 3 review. Um, but yeah, I've got the fans here, this is where you set your fan speed. And you can see here full speed. And usually I have this sitting on silent, um, which is quiet here, sorry it's called. Uh, yeah, so I have that on quiet. and. Um, that's actually pretty good. We'll get into that in the part three review. Um, I'm really looking forward to getting that out to you as I'm sure you're looking forward to seeing it. So um, you can see here as well, this is where we select it into the um, five gigahertz profile, uh, which is what we're running at the moment. And so of course, you know, I'll, what I'll do now is I'll switch on to the, um, I'll switch on to the fans for you in terms of this microphone. We've got my studio mic set up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to now switch on to this microphone. And so if I talk next to this microphone in the same volume that I was before, and you can get an idea of the kind of noise, and bear in mind I've got the fan speed set to maximum, and rather than what I'd normally have as quiet. And uh, very, very pleased with the quiet, it's, it's beautiful. Uh, and again, I really can't wait to show you that in the part three review coming up. But So this is the microphone. Yeah? One, two, this is me speaking at the same volume next to it in comparison. So, what I love about the sound though is it's literally just the airflow that you can hear. There's no, there's no like, there's no motor noise. You know, typically with any normal fan uh, cooling system, you get that whiny motor noise. Um, and the Area 51M, I don't know how Alienware's done it, but just it's such a beautiful sound. It's, it's, it's just the air that you hear. You don't hear any motor noise. It's really hard to explain. And I hope this microphone uh, can, can pick it up. Um, but there's no, there's just no motor noise. Let's pop the microphone round the back there for you just quickly while we're here. If I, if I talk here about that volume, yeah, that should give you an indication. We'll switch back to this microphone now. So as you can see, it's, it's a very nice sound. So if you are in a position like I am now where you know, I'm really keen to get this behind the scenes video out to you, 
It's about 57 minutes long, but it's worth every minute in my opinion. Uh, I've got so much information crammed into that, it's not even funny. So if you're a YouTuber or you're sort of wanting to get into filming or editing, or you've always wondered what goes on behind the scenes setting one of these videos up, then you know, look out for that. It will be the next video coming up very shortly after I get this one up. How long have we got left? Let's switch back to the, uh, we'll switch back to the Add the View. Looks like we've got 27 minutes. Whoa, so the question is, can I? And what's the time? It's 20 to two in the morning, yeah? 20 to two in the morning. So the question is, with the help of my beautiful Alienware Area 51M, with its outstanding rendering performance, I'm so happy about it, because obviously compared to my 990X CPU that's in my water-cooled overclock system, even that's pretty fast. But this thing, yeah? No word of a lie, when I first set it up to render, it said 19 hours. And when you see the next video, the behind the scenes one, hopefully you'll see why it said 19 hours with all the effects in it, right? But when I, when I ran the rendering, it said 19 hours, and it sort of like rapidly went down to about three hours, um, which is what it kind of settled on. And so I decided with the last hour left that I would um, video uh, as a challenge on my Saturday night when everyone else is out getting drunk and uh, probably having a good old boogie there's me getting videos out to you guys. So I hope you're having a great weekend too. Watch out for the behind the scenes video coming up next. Part three review for the Alienware Area 51M coming up as well in the next few days, hopefully, depending on you know these last few clips I've got to get. Behind the scenes video that's coming up soon is gonna show some of the clips that we're doing. Um, so that's gonna be a great one. But in the meantime, thanks for joining me on this one. I hope this has been a bit of a heads up in terms of just a sneak peek about the overclocking profiles we've got. We've got the RGB lighting that we're going to be looking at. And of course, the fan noise is a big thing I'll be getting into as well in that part three. But for the time being, wish me luck getting this thing up there before this thing finishes rendering. It's going to be a challenge, but you know me. Challenging convention and I love any challenge. I'll see you in the next one. Please like, share and subscribe.